Hey guys, Jillia here. Welcome to the Shopify tutorial. In this video, I'm going to guide you through the process of setting up your Shopify store. So stick with me, I'll show you a bit of everything. Step number one, if you haven't already, sign up for a Shopify account. You'll find the best current Shopify deal linked in the description. Right now it's a three day free trial and then $1 for the first month. Once you've signed up, follow the prompts to create your account and you'll be taken to your Shopify dashboard. Step number two, choose a theme for your store. So go to online store, scroll down and select a theme. We'll be using the theme Dawn. Step number three, let's start designing. We're going to right click on customize and open the theme editor on a new tab. So first let's click up here on theme settings and add a logo. So upload your logo. And here you can adjust your logo size. Now let's go back to the sections and add a nice banner image. I'm also going to add a second banner image. To enter a store title, click here on the text block and type it in. Now we're gonna go back to the Shopify dashboard tab and add some products to the store. If you're syncing with a dropshipping or print-on-demand supplier like Printful, your products can be automatically imported from their platform. Otherwise, if you have your own products in inventory, you can go to products, click on add products, add your title, description, images, pricing, and your search engine listing information. Now go back and repeat the process to add more products. Once that's ready, you'll need to create collections. This is how you're going to organize your catalog and set up a user-friendly browsing flow for your customers. So now let's head to collections and click on create collection. First, add a title and edit the search engine listing. And the most important part, add a collection image. This is what customers will click on to see the products. So choose something that accurately represents your collection. Now click on save and let's add the products that belong in this collection. Once you've added your products, you can reorder them right here. You could also arrange this manually based on your catalog aesthetic. Once you have it, go back and repeat the process to create more collections. Once they are all ready, we're going to head back to the theme tab. To add a new section, we are going to click right here and select featured collection. Now click right here and select which collection to show. Now I'm going to delete the title for a better aesthetic and down here, you can adjust the layout of these covers. I'm actually going to click this button and enable a carousel scrolling function. To continue creating, click on add section and let's add a collection list. Let's set the number of columns to four. Change the background color to create a slight contrast. And go to the first block. Choose the first collection and you'll see it here. Now we're going to repeat the process to add the other collections. If you want to show less than four, you can delete them here and then go back to the section settings and change the number of columns to a lower number. Now I'm going to delete the title for a better aesthetic. Now let's add the next section. Click on featured collection. This time I'm actually going to add a title, select my collection and change the layout. All right, looking good. So let's add the next section. Now we're gonna go for a featured product. Now I'm going to change the background's color to create a slight contrast. Next up, let's add another section. We're now gonna go for another collection list. 
This will create some nice visual variation. So now I'm going to repeat the previous process to customize the section. And here we have it. All right, now let's view the product pages. Click up here. And here you'll see the product page. As you can see, we have something basic by default. You'll see we still don't have a navigation menu. So hit save. And let's go back to the Shopify dashboard. Click on navigation. And click on main menu. Add menu item. And here, let's link to one of our main collections. Now repeat the process and link to all of your other collections. If you have a lot of them, you can create sub menu items by drag and dropping like this. Hit save and go back. Now here you can also edit your footer menu. This is where you'll want to add important things like your privacy policy, refund policies, etc. We'll also be coming back to this in a little bit. Now if you go back to your theme editor and click on header, here you can select your main menu. And if you scroll all the way down, here in the footer section is where you later add the footer menu. Now let's hit save and go back to the Shopify dashboard. We're now going to go over the management settings of Shopify. Head over to markets and select the countries you'll be selling to. Now head over to shipping and delivery. And if you are drop shipping, your shipping settings might automatically be synced with your supplier. And if not, click on general, go down here and create a shipping zone with all the countries you'll be selling to. Now click here and set the price Now, if you do want to customize things in more detail, then I highly recommend you go over this video. I'll leave it linked down below. Then you'll want to head over to the payment settings. Depending on your location, you might be able to use ShopPay, which is Shopify's payment gateway. Otherwise, you can go down here and choose another provider. And back here, I also recommend activating PayPal. When all of that is ready, head over here to domains and if you haven't already, purchase a domain. If you want to keep this as easy as possible, you can just buy a domain right here inside Shopify for $15 per year. And if you want to go for a more economical option, what you can do instead is use a platform called Namecheap. There you can buy a domain for around $5. I'll leave it linked in the description. All right, now let's finalize this. Go to policies and click to create each of these policies so that your store complies with all regulations. Now let's close the settings and let's finally create that footer menu. So go to navigation, add menu item and your policy. Now repeat the process to add the other policies. Hit save and go back. And let's go live. Click on online store and remove the store password. Congratulations for making it this far. You are now ready to start selling. Now what I recommend is thinking of different marketing strategies to bring visitors into your store. If you have a budget for advertising, I have a step-by-step -step TikTok ads tutorial you can follow. I'll leave a link in the description. Alternatively, you could also go for free methods like posting on social media and SEO. Once you're getting some visitors, you'll be able to track those here in the analytics section. Your orders will be found up here. And in this section, you could also create automated emails for marketing. I also recommend creating discount codes so that you can add value to your offers. I'll leave a tutorial for that down below as well. And before you go, in the description below, you will also find a link to a free resource pack I've designed to help you further into this journey. You can find both of those resources for free in the description. And if you haven't signed up for Shopify yet, I'm also gonna leave a link taking you to the best current deal for getting started. Right now it's a three-day free trial and then $1 for the first month. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.